Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. With my 16 centimeter circumference wrist giving scale, today we introduce the 2003 to 2010 generation Breitling Super Ocean in stainless steel. 42 millimeters in diameter, the watch is 15 millimeters thick and if you measure it lug to lug across the wrist, a reasonable 49.4 millimeters such that I can recommend this timepiece for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. The spacing between the lugs is a rather universal 20 millimeters, so you'll have many OEM and aftermarket strap options in that size. The factory Breitling Professional, and this is the Professional One bracelet, is a comfortable piece. I'm going to pop it open. It features a friction fit clasp that features a clamshell lock and a combination of differential finish and staggered link alignment to break up the massive metal. You can see there's a little bit of a channeling between the center links and the flanking links. The center links are aligned a little bit off center relative to the shoulders, and the center links feature a satin finish compared to polished outboard. Even then, Breitling was using removable links fixed by screws and you can see this bracelet lets the wrist breathe on a hot day. It has absolutely no close tolerance that might pinch skin or pull hair. You can see the stamp on the underside of the bracelet indicating this bracelet was made in 2004 which suggests this watch was probably built almost exactly that time frame. Now the watch features a polished internal swing arm. The clasp will click shut with friction fit. You can see there are several different anchoring points inside the clasp that you can use to change the fit on the fly. And there is a fold out dive extension that you can use to fit over a wetsuit or just a thick winter coat. So you have those anchoring points and the removable links to get the perfect sizing. The friction fit system does hold it shut fairly well, but the clamshell ensures that it's sure tight. Jumping back to the case, you can see it's simple but strong with down tucked lugs, all of high polish. There's a helium escape valve on the side. For you saturation divers, that will activate when the internal pressure exceeds the external pressure by 2 to 3 bar. You can see the rider tabs on the Breitling bezel are present to make it easy to manipulate with wet, sweaty, or gloved hands. And these bolts externally are not for show. This is a captive bezel. It is held to the case using these screws, so it cannot accidentally be snapped off as can a tag, Breitling, or Rolex bezel. This is a very tough arrangement. You can see that it is a fully calibrated unidirectional dive bezel with 120 clicks and a very sharp and crisp detent. Have a listen. It feels as good as it sounds. Now what you do is you line the luminescent pearl up with the minute hand and now you've got an impromptu 0 to 60 minute count up timer. I prefer this to a chronograph, it's just easier to read. And of course, the nice thing about the dive bezel is that it gives you most of the functionality of a chronograph, being able to time something easily, but without the downstream maintenance costs. The dial is simple but strong. Full Arabic numerals, this is known as a military style dial, applique Breitling wing logo, broadsword style hands, and a wonderful vintage inspired squared off red varnished seconds hand. I like dive watches with luminescent seconds. The watch is a chronometer. It is 1,500 meters water resistant. You can see crown guard shoulders protecting the logo on the case back, noting that the watch is highly water resistant to 1,500 meters and a certified Swiss chronometer. The chronometer movement is the Breitling Caliber 17. Automatic winding, 38 hour power reserve, 28 8 beat rate, 25 joules, stop seconds with a quick set. It is an ETA 28242 in chronometer grade. It is a very, very tough bi-directional winding caliber. It's a tank tough movement for a tank tough watch. How tough? Well, when we water test these Breitling watches at the shop, oftentimes we have to use a special hard case setting because the water tester needs to compress a case and then measure the decompression of the case when the pressure is released to gauge whether it expands and contracts by the same amount, that is whether it's leaking. Well, the Breitling case does not contract, it cannot be compressed, so we need to use a special special hard case setting that is almost exclusive to Breitling tests because these watches are so robust. An underrated brand and an underrated model line, Breitling is not just about pilot's watches. Take the plunge. If you're a seaplane pilot, this is the perfect option with the Breitling Super Ocean. Breitling Super Ocean, fully loomed military dial with a big luminescent pearl on the bezel and a fully loomed seconds hand.